After almost four years since the Rager Dykes Auto Group filed for bankruptcy, today the final person in the collapse has been sentenced. Our Matt Stell was in that Amarillo courtroom today where Bart Rager learned where he'll spend at least the next decade of his life. Terry, it was a little under five months ago when Bart Rager sat down with you one on one to tell his side of the story of things, of course. That being the collapse of the Rager Dykes Auto Group starting in 2018. He told us in that sit down that he believed that he was still an innocent man, that justice had not been served in that courtroom, but he was ready for whatever came next. Well, today here in Amarillo, we found out what would come next. 14 years for Bart Rager in federal prison. I just wanted to say uh, I thought the judge and the uh, was very fair. Did a good job, and uh, we're just our family's just looking forward to the appeal. Uh, I know I'm innocent. You know, I've had a great life. You know, I mean, I'm thankful to God, and it's in His hands. And you know, when He's ready to take me, He can take me. Uh, I'm very thankful. I've had a, you know, I have a great family. I have a great wife. I had great support today, and uh, I appreciate y'all being here. And you know, I miss my, uh, I miss seeing everybody. You know, and uh, it's been a hard four year, four years, and. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I felt like the judge was fair today, but, uh, you know, because, I mean, he had, I mean, we got a conviction last time, and so we had to uh, have some kind of sentence, and I thought the sentence was fair. Using clips from our October interview with Rager, prosecutors argue that the former auto dealer lacked remorse and contrition for what happened, saying the collapse of Rager Dykes was because Bart Rager had a, quote, win-at-all-cost mentality. His metric for winning was material wealth, for instance, his multiple private planes and large home. Ignore the fraud that was going on within the company, especially with former CFO Shane Smith's floor plan scheme. Bullied employees who wouldn't go along with it and promoted those who did. Judge Matthew Casimir agreed with most of those sentiments, saying Rager was, quote, a bully in the workplace, verbally abusive, and blames everyone but himself. But most importantly, that a jury of Rager's own peers believed he withheld info from IBC Bank when they gave Rager Dykes a nearly $10 million working capital loan, with Rager pocketing nearly $2 million of the loan for himself. We want to thank the court for a very thorough and considerate sentencing hearing. Uh, the court made a, a very thorough findings of all the facts, and we respect the court's decision, appreciate all the time that it took, uh, pay respects to the defense counsel for their argument, most importantly, we want to thank the FBI for all its efforts in investigating this case. They did a phenomenal job. We couldn't have brought the case without their efforts. Rager's defense, who prosecutors called, quote, a legal dream team, argued that Rager's braggadocious attitude and not made for TV speeches to employees weren't a good look in hindsight. But it didn't mean he deserved to spend over a decade of his life behind bars. Going on to add that Rager did not encourage any fraud to happen in his company. Uh, I was a little concerned that they were giving their own interpretation of what he said. Like, don't do any wrong. They interpreted it as, well, you know, when the Godfather says that, that's what that means, something different. In a court of law, you really can't do that. Um, but I got an opportunity to make the response I wanted to make, so I was happy with that. Uh, I was very pleased with what I thought was the fairness of the court in considering everything. Uh, most federal uh, uh, defendants who are convicted appeal. And we certainly will, and we think there's some issues to appeal. Um, but today was he got to go home, take care of himself, say goodbye to his family, and uh, that's that. His family, specifically his sons, called Rager their hero, a giving man and one who should not be treated as a criminal. But our legal system doesn't see it that way. Nearly four years later, 16 RDAG employees have now been convicted, with 51 years of prison time between them all, and millions in restitution that'll have to be paid back. And Terry, because Bart Rager is dealing with Parkinson's disease, both the judge and prosecutors agreed that they would be okay with him serving his time at the Federal Medical Center over in Fort Worth. And that'll give him some proximity to his loved ones in Lubbock. When I asked Bart Rager what he'll be doing over these next 60 days, he tells me he'll be spending time with his family and getting ready to appeal his conviction. In downtown Amarillo, Matt Stell, KLBK News.